Um, and we've got groups from all around London and a couple of other Facebook and other groups. And uh, it was really successful today, made a lot of noise, gave out lots of leaflets. The message we're getting out was that we can win this. We're saying drive at will, do not pay. And that is because we know that it's probably illegal what Sadiq Khan is doing. We know that in Birmingham, the council have given up trying to collect their clean air zone fines because there's been so much resistance. In London, one third of fines have not been responded to. So actually, people are already doing what we say. Now, I've amassed a charge of £44,000 because it's a charge on a charge on a charge for not paying a charge and so on. And that is since day one of ULES when I started defying it. So we need other people to do that. But we can do it. We can win. If they do have a court case, it won't be against, you know, you if you're just watching and thinking of it. It'll be against me as a test case. And if we win, it will be the end of probably all PCN charges for six years for everybody in the country because the process they're issuing them with is illegal. Now, they don't want a court case that does that, so they're probably just carrying on sending out paper to everybody, which means we can win anyway. It's all right. That is the key thing that you can do to win. The second thing is, organise a group in your area, and this is talked about a lot today, um, and go to your council. Demand your council supports the opposition to ULES. And 11 of 19 outer London boroughs are now opposing ULES. But what they're going to do exactly isn't clear. Some are actually going to take Sadiq Khan to court, which is great. We say all these councils must be asked Will you refuse to install ULES cameras? And they must do that if they're meaningful in their opposition. 